Everybody has a digital footprint. Will our guests be shocked by theirs? We are joined by the one, the only, Bonita. Hi. Hey, girl. How you I doing? Love. I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Do you know what the show is about a little bit? Or? I mean, I'm just going to bring up my past, and I'm, I'm here for it. You're here for it? Yeah. Not scared at all? No. I know. I know the things I've said. <laughs> well, first, a lot of people know who you are, but okay. for the people that don't, what, who are you, Fanita? Like, uh, I'm, I'm most people's problematic fave. Uh, <laughs> I have a podcast, uh, Bottoms Up. You know, I talk my shit. Oh, can, I, can I curse? Oh, I, I don't know. Um, Y'all boys. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm young, hot, sexy, and gorgeous. And, uh, you know, some people hate me, some people love me. It's just whatever side you fall on, and that's how I like it. And all of it kind of brushes off of your shoulders. It you does. Stay pretty. It does. Good. I feel like you're not popping if you're not hated. Like, people hate on Beyonce. They do. And how so, can you hate on Beyonce? And as long as I have that thought in my mind, I can accomplish anything. Okay. All right, Benita. You good? I'm all sports now. Are you sweating? No. I thought you were all right. I thought you were no, chill. No, high school? I thought we were going to do internet oh. stuff. Okay. All right. Let's see. So March 4th, 2016. Okay. I'm going to ask you now. Like, what, what do you think was going on at this time? Around prom season? Mm -hmm. Probably? You tell me. <laughs> Wait. Where was Benita March, March 4th? Yeah, I was in high school. It was my senior year of high school. That's the end of the senior year. Yeah, I was probably getting ready for prom or something. What was high school Benita like? Uh, Same version of this Benita, just less cool. Who's this? This is my best friend, Harley. Is she Harley? She Harley. is. I literally just seen her uh, this past weekend. We were in Dallas together. Okay, so that's good. Even though you're in this world and like you grew very fast, mm -hmm. it seems like you're still homies with people yeah. from. Uh, we went to Cannes in June. Uh, I took her to Cannes, took her to France, and then, yeah, I just seen her in Dallas because she's getting a national award for her work that she does. So. Okay. Yeah, this is my best friend. This was, I think this was after something for graduation. It was like probably getting ready for graduation. Or maybe, is this dress purple? It's like pink, pink. Is it, I, uh, what was this? I don't know, something, some some school thing probably. Maybe a field trip? Oh, you're probably going on a field trip. June 7th, 2016. You know, actually that summer was hell for me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what was going on? So I'm gonna give you a little backstory. So between March and June, all hell broke loose in my life. Uh, long story short, I ended up kissing a boy at the beach uh, okay. after prom, and then my stepmom found out. She exposed me to my entire school, exposed me to my entire family, uh, and I just kissed the boy. You would have thought I was yeah, Kim like Kardashian, what? Ray J. Were you? <laughs> <laughs> I was. Were you religious? Were you like in a religious? Like, what was wrong with you kissing yeah, a boy? Yeah, yes, but it was like Baptist, like Southern Baptist. It wasn't nothing wrong with me kissing a boy. I was just black, and he was a white boy, and I was in a small town, mm. and. You know, small town things where you do anything, everybody knows about it. E everything is like yeah. uh, a thing. Mm -hmm. After that, like I didn't have any contact with any of my friends. <laughs> so maybe this is when I went because to- Because you kissed a white boy and your mm -hmm. mom said it to everyone. Yeah, my stepmom, yeah. Stepmom. Yeah. But why did why did you have no friends or why didn't they talk to you after Oh, that? because then she told all my friends' uh, parents that like I was a bad influence and then like my friends can hang out with me. Harley's mom didn't care because Harley's mom didn't give a fuck about nothing. So Harley could still hang out with me, but my Harley's stepmom hated one. Harley, so. Damn. Yeah, it was a lot. And this was in high school. Yeah. High school's hard, man. High school's tough. Well, maybe it's a photo of you solo dolo after that <laughs> story. <laughs> okay. What you mean? You got friends. No, this is yeah, this is my this is my friend group. It's actually like crazy that I fell out with like all of these girls except for Harley. So this was before the drama happened. This was baccalaureate. Uh so this was actually in May when this photo was taken. It was taken like a couple days before graduation. And uh, yeah, this was my friend group at high school and I do not speak to uh, three out of the four girls in this picture. That happens. I feel like I don't talk to anyone from high and school. And we just recently fell out too, so which is, which is sad, but you know, 10 years of friendship. <clears throat> but me and Harley, still locked in. Harley, Harley's a real one. Yeah, Harley is real. Y'all yeah, have no idea how real she is. All right, November 6th. I'm in college. Okay, we like college then. I loved college. Maybe college a little was, bit better than high school. Yes, college was so fun until like it wasn't fun anymore. But my freshman year of college, the funnest time of my life. Till this, the, college was so fun. Like uh, you were litty or like? I was super lit. <laughs> and you know what? That's when I actually cared about school. So I was actually, I was a super party girl, but I was making it to my classes. Okay. It was fun. College was fun. Balance is key, right? Yeah, it is. So maybe it's a photo of you being a little maybe it's that Maybe it's me, that photo of me at that little thing with my chest painted. Oh, let's see. Oh, that was when we went paintballing. These are some wholesome photos, right? Yeah. It was That's like cute. My little friend group that I made when I first got to college. Yeah, we went paintballing. It was super fun. Do you feel like you make friends easily? Yes. Oh, yeah. I made friends, friends like the first day I was there. 
Yeah, like I was like, I knew everybody that was on my dorm floor like the very first day. How, you're just like a social butterfly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would go to all my classes, talk, and then I was also a person that talked in class, because mm -hmm. I'm talkative, and so like I made a lot of friends like, uh, by making jokes in class and like all that. I knew everybody in my dorm, knew everybody that lived in my dorm. I was really, I was really popping. And you still are, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was be talking, people. Yeah. <laughs> We're going a little bit further. This is summer after freshman year. Uh, maybe when I worked as a summer camp counselor or something, because I was a summer camp counselor. That was my first like real, real job that I got paid like government money to do. Oh, uh, I made a whopping seven dollars and thirty cents. We hour. love that. Besides yeah. that, before content and stuff, did yes. you do any other jobs? Or uh, I used to waitress. Uh, did that job. I used to work at a daycare. I used to work at a call center. I used to have a lot of jobs. Damn. Yeah. Did you miss any of them? No. <laughs> I guess I'll. Are you an Al? <laughs> it's giving Al City. Fans. I guess I'll. I like to make myself believe. Hey, yeah. The planet, planet Earth turns slow. But oh. we're a fan of the song where people just like dragging the song and you. I have. Like, I have no idea. I think it. she said something about the song clearly because I'm kind of like reply to her. Oh. And I'm gonna tweet telling you. Okay. Cool. He said this is random. This but is I, random. I stand by it. That song's hard. What's your favorite tweet that you put out? I don't even know. I don't be tweeting like that because Twitter scares me. I don't be trying to tweet nothing or post nothing. I guess be on Twitter to look. So you're done. You're done with Twitter. Yeah. So, so you haven't tweeted anytime recently. And I'm not going to say that because I probably have. <laughs> but... <laughs> okay, so now that I know it's going to be everything. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, okay you're here. present. Oh, you're present. <laughs> what happened in March? March 25th, 2024. Uh, I know I went to Jamaica in March. How has this year been for you? It's been good. It's been fun. I have, you know, I feel like I've been learning a lot about myself. You know, I'm getting my health and wellness together I'm on a journey of self-love and self-care and just trying to stay mentally intact. Because uh, sometimes I get a little manic. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know what it is on the track. It's the most yes. baddest, 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 Hey, I'm only here for the d. Hey, I love a good, good d. I I'm a that a trick. Yeah. yeah. One that holds the blade. Oh, she knows it. She blade. knows it still. First things first, I'm not a motherfucking rapper. I get in this bitch like, like a motherfucking trapper. I'm just kidding, guys. I don't know. Really <laughs> what are you uh, laughing about? What about? It's random. I was in the studio with my boyfriend, and he's a music producer, and so he just wanted me to rap a song. But I've actually been making more music since this. Are you a future rapper? A yeah, rapper in the yeah, making just, right now? I just haven't released my songs, but I actually am. I'm not joking. Y'all know I'll be bullshit, but this is me being serious. Yeah. I have one song that I'm going to drop soon. Um, it's called Gag It. That was off the dome. I didn't even write that. That was just me in the studio, like, around. going crazy. But, like, now I have a producer and we write music together. And then, you know, I still like freestyle and stuff. But, yeah. Oh, that's dope. Like, what kind of, what rapper would you, like, want their career, pretty much? Uh, obviously, like, Nicki, Megan, Doja, you know. Okay. My girls. I see that for you. I love them. Yeah. I love I'm that. already so like, I, I'm just in a place where like, I just want to dip my toes in everything. Like, why not? Why not? Was that your first song that you wrote? Yep. Oh. That was it. So that was the start, caught on yeah. camera. I never released that one, but because I want to make like actual good music before I actually release songs. But Gaggin is good. So that's the end of my sophomore year, summer of my sophomore year. I think I'm living in an apartment and I think I'm working. Yeah, I was just working all the time. Like during school and during the summer, I was just working. And you weren't making content yet? No. Like that? I was not, no. What made you feel like, okay, I'm gonna get online and start posting? Literally just my friends. Like they just were like, you're funny, you should make content. And I was like, okay. All right. well, <laughs> I'm easily swayed into doing things. Are you? Yeah. I feel like you're pretty like headstrong. I'm like, I am, I am pretty headstrong, but like I'm also, I guess I mean like decisive. Yeah. Like I'm, I will, I'm the type of person that I'll try anything once unless it's Coke. Uh, <laughs> oh, this one had knee surgery. Knee surgery? What'd you do to your knee? So, uh, this summer, so I always had knee problems. I played basketball in high school, and my knee would always dislocate. Like, it would just pop out. And I actually have the scar here. I was in my friend's apartment, because I had to, at that time, me and all my friends lived in the same apartment complex, super lit. And uh, this is actually funny. We were watching, we were all hanging out, and there was like five of us, and I think we were just like playing music or we, we either watching Mulan or we were playing the soundtrack. Mulan. Yes, I love Mulan too. So I was like singing the, um, let's get down to business to defeat hey. the Huns. And I grabbed a broom and I was trying to like do like a spin kick and uh -huh. just blew my knee out. 
And so did like, it drop it lower? Or were you just like no? Like I like I like I would try to spin around and like I hit my knee too hard. But then also before this knee injury, I had another one the very beginning of my freshman year. And it's all from basketball. Yes, it started with basketball, and then in October of my freshman year of college, I went to a haunted house, got scared of the haunted house. Somebody grabbed me from behind. I blew my knee out at the haunted house. But I didn't need surgery. I like sprained it really bad. And then I blew my knee out again. And then that's where like, girl, you need surgery. So I tore like a couple of ligaments in my kneecap and then I had dislocated yeah, I scars. That's yeah. wild. And then I had um chipped knee cartilage under my kneecap. <laughs> so they had to dig that out too. But and yeah, how's now we're the good. knee now. Yeah, she's good. I mean, she's still a little tight, but it's it's fine. Can you drop a low? Can you yeah, can you well, yeah, can I, you I can drop down? a low. I don't know if I can pick it back up though. All right, December 1st, 2019. Okay, let me see. Moving a little bit forward. Yeah, I think this is this is junior year. Uh, actually, I don't I have no idea what I was doing December 1st. Let's see. It's always that. Every day, take it off. But this is like Every one of my day. first TikToks. I think it is your first TikTok. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> Why? What's what's wrong with the hat? So there was a creator um, at the time. His name was Satan. Uh, light skin. He used to make a bunch of content, and he uh, made a video about like it's always the hat. It's always a hat, and like I guess like, like when I first got on TikTok, he his videos is ones that I seen all the time, and I guess this is my. Oh, you were just doing your own version of uh, it. This is when I was back when it was. When it was it's Nita, babe. No, I literally think it was your first TikTok. Yeah, I think that might be my first TikTok ever. Oh my god. But Nimmar, I still don't Nimmar get bad. it. I still don't get it. What, what's wrong with the hat? What's the background? That 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 was like the joke. I can't remember the joke, no, but it was like the way he said it's always the hat or something. And I guess, yeah. You were inspired yeah, to make your own. December 2nd, 2019. I guess I'll right, post another area. TikTok. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's see the TikTok, TikTok probably. Hey, I was so deep. Hey. Still in a mix now. You're like gorgeous. <laughs> what is this? This is like my 21st birthday. What was the, the point of the, this the video? Pictures, the pictures are off me. I guess it show people that I glowed up, but I did. And then it's like, imagine I add on to this and then do me now. It's like, damn. I guess I age like the bottle of finest Pinot Noir. I oh. get better with age. Oh. I get better every year. And I confidence love, is key, right? It so is. So you feel like you got more confident over time? Yes, I get I get more confident over here. Like right now in this in this era of Anita, nobody can tell me that. I'm not hearing nobody. it. Nobody. Nobody. Yeah. Uh, uh, Michelle Obama couldn't tell me shit. Uh, like, nobody. Not Michelle Obama. <laughs> Neither because in there or Bellity. I'm with you, skinny bitches, now. What's up? Uh, <laughs> are you still was in this? college? No. Yes, oh, I was. Right. Yes, I was. How old are you? Uh, 25. I didn't graduate college. I was like a super senior. <laughs> and then I dropped out. Hey, I, didn't, I didn't even go, so <laughs> you made it further than me. Huh. This is what I was, this is what I was busting out the content, but I'm gonna get shadow banned all the time. Why? I thought this joke was funny. In, in, my, in, my, in my head, I thought this joke was hilarious. I mean, it, did it go viral? Did it pop off? Girl, no. Oh. <laughs> my first video didn't go viral viral. I guess it depends on what you call viral. But I think my first video to ever go semi-viral was in like the summer of 2020. What was it? Uh, it was like a, I was, uh, you don't remember, I don't know if you were back on social media when they used to do this, but he'd be like seeing if this person is attractive. Yes. So I did one of those and I did my own commentary and I think that was like in the summer and then my first video to go super viral, like get a million views was like in November. So this is just me like getting one like on everything. <laughs> like, I'm still hey, pushing it up. You have to start somewhere. I, you really do. You and really and do. did you did you actually go to Harvard and find a sugar daddy? I did not. I've never stepped foot on Harvard's campus. But one of my uh, things on my bucket list is to speak at a Harvard graduation. Do you think that's in your future? Probably not. But it's fun. I just like I just like to do cycles. What would you speak about? What would you tell the kids? Uh, to be confident, to be self forward, and to always know who you are. Wow. Was that practice? Did you already have no, that ready? I oh, that was out the dome. Oh, thank God, wow. I did. That was beautiful. Yeah, I was, like smart. TED Talk, sign her up. <laughs> have you ever had a sugar daddy? No. You know, once I got scammed. <laughs> scammed by a sugar daddy? Yeah. So you know, back in my college days, as you can tell by the way I'm dressed, I was super duper poor. I'm talking about no money, like not two nickels to scrub together, not a pot to piss in. And so I was so like, you know, like, cause when I was working, all that went to my rent. And then I barely have money to eat. So like I was on seeking arrangements and then <laughs> I found this like sugar daddy and he wasn't really a sugar daddy. And I think I was like 18 at the time when I did this. I was like 18 or 19, really mm -hmm. stupid. But like I was so thirsty for a little bit of cheddar. I literally gave this man access to my bank account so he could deposit fraudulent funds. 
Oh, at least he didn't take your money. I thought no, but yeah, he, depo- he deposited fraudulent funds into my bank account, and then the bank called me and was like, hey, girl, uh, what the fuck? And then I was like, sorry, girl. And she was like, um, are you talking to older men? And I was like, yeah, girl. And she was like, try not to do that. And I was like, okay, girl. And then I wasn't allowed to do mobile banking, so I had to go in person to my bank every time. I wasn't allowed to use the app or anything anymore. But we're good now. Yeah, now I, now I bank with Chase. Now you could be Big the- Big C. Oh. Big not, Chase. Oh, now you can be the sugar mama. Yeah, literally. Now I can do that too. Literally. And I'm not on Seeking Arrangements looking for money anymore. Good. Growth. All right, January 2nd, 2020. <laughs> She's like, I don't freaking- We get to this point in the episode where people are like, I don't have a freaking clue. Yeah, I'm sure this is just, just TikTok it. content now. Let's see. All right, oh, so okay. this was the same day that you posted that you were looking for a sugar daddy. Okay, this is my friend Trey. Oh, so, so this wasn't the no. fraudulent man that put funds no, into no, your no, account? No, it was not. Okay. This is my friend. We were, we met because we were across the hall neighbors my freshman year. We lived in the same dorm. He was my across the hall neighbor and he played on the soccer team. Just friends? Yeah. For you? Always. Always? Yeah. Just a lot of friends? Yeah. Were you flirty in college? Or Hell yeah. Did you date I'm around? I'm now. I didn't, I, I, have, I, I have my first boyfriend like this year. Yeah. New. Yeah. And you like it? Yeah. I mean, it's whatever sometimes, but it's fine. I love really? him. I'm in a new relationship three months, so that's that's nice. It's yeah. like honeymoon phase. Yeah, but like being in a relationship is kind of hard. But no, all my all the guys that you if you see me posted with back in my past were all just my friends. Everybody always thought that I was dating every single person because you're flirty. Like, because you know the I don't know if you watch my content, but the way people always shit me with everybody that see me now on the internet, that's exactly what, like it was in college. So everybody in college thought I was always dating Trey or all my guy friends because I just always had a lot of guy friends. Uh, I was just, I was just popular and hot and funny. Like, and you're flirty. Be, yes. Yeah. And people want to be around me. I don't know what to say, but yeah. This is during COVID times, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or just after COVID? Wait, no, I think it's during COVID, right? Okay. I think it's during. Yeah, is COVID still here, happening? When did COVID start? 2020. 2020, I think. Okay. How was COVID for you? Depressing? Uh, nah, I was. <laughs> I was late there in COVID. So I had a ball. Like, I really did, because, like, everything was closed. So all me and my friends did was, like, uh, drink. they drink at the pool all day and hang out. We were drinking Everclear when we got COVID because we couldn't taste anything. So we were just getting super drunk. And then, like, we all got COVID at the same time. So, like, we had, like, a reality TV show, like, Jersey Shore moment at one of my friends' And you apartment. were posting it? And, like, no, no, no. Oh. No, this is before I posted everything about my life. This is just me and my friends. Oh, you yeah. said before, before it all. Yeah, before the fame. Before the fame. <laughs> I literally love my life. We were just talking about Austin. Miss him. So who are these? Who are these men? Uh, Austin and Ezra. Ezra has a dicey past. Uh, And then Austin was my Caribbean uh, beef stick. My Caribbean BBI. Love my life. Oh. One of my closest friends, former friends. but uh, Friends or did you have feelings for Austin? No, no, no. Austin was like a brother. Like we were very much like the same. Like it was very much brother sister vibes. Uh, Sweetest person ever. So just friends. Yeah. But a flirty photo. Some people might think, like, these are your booze. Like, you're yeah. just... Well, come on, girl. What? Hey, you know what? what I mean? I guess I just stay pimping, man. All right. We're January, back to this year. Okay, 2024. What was I? I don't know, girl. Roll the clips. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is. Let's see. Have you had any other guests um, that you're attracted to on this show? Nah, I don't. I don't really flirt with my guys. Huh? You're super hot. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the I biggest thing I've ever come is Benny's that. penis. Um, oh. Short boy from Staten Island bangs the <laughs> shit out of big booty black bitch on pod. Oh my God. Is this a podcast or a porno? <laughs> like, <laughs> Manny, I would have sex with you now. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> boink, boink, boink. You did eat it up, and I'm going to eat you up after the show. Yeah. But you see, I don't discriminate. <laughs> what, to the girlies? So no, I don't discriminate to nobody. <laughs> I'm so wet right now. If you ever hook up with Little Nas X. Oh, that's not saying I'm my gal. That was before the invisible. What are you going to do with the beatbox oh, coochie? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, but I'm, okay. I don't ever like usually like come on to my guests or flirt with my guests. This is the first time I've ever done this. Oh, uh, I'm sure. <laughs> Fanita, Fanita, Fanita. I can't help that I Flirty have flirty flirt. So many. I would girl would flirt with you, but you got a girlfriend. Um, <laughs> but I can't help that we booked the most sexy, most attractive, and charismatic guests. Like I'm only, I'm just a girl. You're just so you're actually into all the people you flirt with, or are you sometimes just having fun? No, all of it's just fun. Oh, all of it's just fake. I'm a fraud. No, oh. like that's just that's just like uh my bit. Okay. I flirt with everybody. But you respect the people in relationships. Yeah, 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 of course. Well, some of them, yeah. Oh. It depends on the name. Hey. All right. September 20th. You, you gotta get me set up. <laughs> Y'all use Cassie as a lead. <laughs> Girl. This is a hilarious tweet. This actually is funny. This is hilarious. So, Fanita, explain yourself. <laughs> Playing yourself. This tweet is so funny. I'm sorry. This is a whole y'all guys got casting in squirt games. That is hilarious. I'm sorry. I'm a genius. 
All right, December 6, 2021. Let's see. Okay, this is her Harley's birthday. Uh, her birthday's December 4th. We went on a cabin trip for her birthday. Do you find it important to like have friends from like home? Because I'm sure you have like a lot of content creator friends. Yeah. And, like, freaking Jack Harlow celebrities. Like, yeah. How, is it important for you to keep these relationships Yeah, going? I feel like they keep me grounded. Yeah. And they also have known me, like, Harley has known me since kindergarten. Harley knows me best, and she knows me in every era of my life, and she knows me in every version of myself. And she's loved every version of me. Oh. Uh, and, you know, I really value our friendship, and that's why, you know, I'm gonna take her to the top with me. I love her. I love her a lot. That's beautiful. I also feel like, Obviously, with social media, when people say stuff too, like I don't really care unless it's coming from my friends or family. Exactly. That's all I have to. That's all I have to. At, at the end of the day, everybody was gonna have their opinion of me, whether they like me or they don't like me. They're always gonna have their opinion of me. But something that stands to be a fact is that nobody knows me. Mm. You know what I mean? Like none of you know me. Yeah. Whatever you think you know about me, you don't have confirmation on that because that's in your head. You're playing puppets with your mind. Mm. And like she knows me. Like she knows who I am, and I think it's important, especially in social media, because you will have people that will make narratives about you or make up stuff about you that's not true, is to keep people in your life that know who you are and that keep you grounded and yeah. keep you humble and keep you on the track that you need to be. And then when they say though, then you're like, oh, no. Yeah, exactly. Now I actually have to Her reflect. opinion matters to yes, me. Yes. Like, if she says something to me, yeah. I'm gonna be like, oh, shit. like, because yeah. like, she's actually like whose opinion I give a about. 100%. Uh, but if you're not Harley, yeah, I remember I said it, if you're not Harley and Emily, don't care. December 11th, 2021. Let's roll into it. Ah! A good one! Oh this is what I got one million followers on TikTok! Was that just like a what the hell is going on moment for you? Yes! I remember like, it was like my goal to get a million followers before the end of that year. And I got it like a couple weeks before the end of the year. And I was just like, gag that I actually did it. Like, did you see this for yourself? Like when you were younger, did you feel like you know how people are like, I knew I was going to be famous or I knew I was going to have like a moment. I didn't know it, but I hoped it. Uh, my life was very traumatic when I was younger. Um, and I always believed that bad things happen to good people and that sometimes you have to endure uh, strife and hardships because when you're older, like good things will happen. So mm -hmm. I would look at people like Oprah, you know, Oprah had a really like um, bad upbringing and stuff like that. And then she became Oprah Winfrey. So I like, I would look up to her and like look up to other uh, women in the industry and they'd be like, well, you know, their lives weren't good and like now they're like super successful people. So I always hoped that for me. I used to write it in my journal like, okay girl, just get through the next four years of hell or five years of hell or 10 years of hell, mm -hmm. but maybe one day you'll be rich and famous. And like that's like literally, I was like, maybe one day you'll be rich and famous, but I know things won't ever be as bad as they are now. Mm. Um, and then when I started doing it and then I seen the growth, I was like, oh yeah, I definitely can do it. Yeah. I can definitely get a million followers. November 21st, 2021. Let's see. Ah, Not the one and only Jack Harlow. Okay. Uh, Jack wanted to see some ass, so I delivered. Period, gag it. I made a video about uh, going to his concert because he came to Birmingham. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna go meet Jack Harlow. And then I was just saying that. But then one of my friends at the time knew uh, the DJ that was working on his tour. Mm -hmm and told him and then the DJ told Jack and then Jack was like, yeah, I'll meet her. So I went to his hotel after this or after the concert and then he walked outside and his little Montclair smelling good as hell and then we took the photo and got some pictures and we made a TikTok. Oh my God. Yeah. So are you like homies now or was it kind of just like no, a that's high No, that's like the first and last time I've ever like uh, spoken to him. He's beautiful. Yeah, I love him. I he was, him he was a restaurant so sweet once. too. He was very nice. He was a very nice guy. Tall. Hopefully he'll come on Bottoms Up season two. All right, let's see. December 26th, 2021. Uh, I don't know. December was a good month for me, though. Right? Always. December was lit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to ask you about this one. To, I was trying to install a wig, and that's why y'all y'all always be trying to get me to put on wigs. I can never be a wig warrior. Look at this. Like, I was trying to... I remember this same night I poured... I literally got rubbing alcohol in my eyeballs, bro. It was like... It was a disaster, and I've never tried to attempt Did to install a wig. Did you, like, watch a, a tutorial, or were you just, like, yeah, trying to... Yeah, and I thought I could get it, but no, installing a wig is so hard. That's why I wear my hair in protective style, and I do not wear wigs. No, I would, I would feel terribly at it. But there are some girls that literally it looks like their hair... I'm like, how? It's Bro, a gift. it's witchcraft. I don't know, but it, it was never me. And I posted this picture on Twitter anyway, viral. It's kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> I, this picture was hilarious. I like that. All right, let's see. All right, October 29th, 2022. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, you do like the girlies. Is this somebody's tits? This had to be an, oh, this is at a Halloween party, clearly. And uh, I was nuzzling titties. Have you ever dated a girl? No. I'm not even gay. Oh. <laughs> 
He said, I just be flirting and making out with them. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm no better than no man. You see these fucking yugs? Come yeah. On. So just, just a night on the town, and then yeah, you saw I just, some girl. Like, I think is she your like, friend? This is my first year in L.A. Uh, yeah. Oh, you knew yeah. her? Okay, so it wasn't just like a random motorboat. Yeah, this is Kiera. And this is my first Halloween in L.A., yeah. And I guess I was like doing a clueless look. It's cute. Yeah, and her titties looked immaculate. They do. They do indeed. All right, let's see. All right, this year. Okay. June you, 20th. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, cans? No, was, I got back from cans in 19. Uh, I don't know. Let's maybe, see. Maybe it was a picture from cans? Yeah. Oh! Wait, this is, this is in Cannes? Yeah. Okay. Cannes yeah. is like bougie, right? Yeah, it was. It definitely was. And I see, I was giving Cannes vibes. I wasn't even like rich French. You look like, um, what's it? Lawyer girl. Lady. Oh, literally that's my caption, Lady oh. Lock. Because <laughs> I had locks. I love it. Well, you look amazing here. Thank you. The confidence, the confidence is coming through. Thank you. It's from Cider Gagget. So it's been like a good year. Like you're- Yeah. You're, you feel like every year you come more and more into, into yes, your own. I feel like I found a little bit more of myself every year. And you know, some months are good, some months are bad, but that's every f***ing year, you know? And that's life. But you gotta just dust yourself off, keep f***ing pushing, because like life is gonna keep knocking you down and beating your ass. So you just gotta take that shit and keep it going. Well, what can the people look forward to? We have we have music coming out. Yeah, we have music. You uh, have your own pod. Yes, here. I have Bottoms yeah. Up on, uh, it's gonna be on a new YouTube channel. It's gonna be on the Bottoms Up YouTube channel. Uh, season two is coming in August, I think, maybe beginning of September. Uh, still making content, be on the lookout for my music. I'm dropping YouTube videos now. Uh, what else am I doing? And I think that's it, girl. I'm just out here. I'm just out here living. I'm just well, doing whatever. Well, and you did. You made it to the end, right? Yeah, so I like, did. Let's see. You are free to go. Yes. For me, it wasn't too bad. No, this was fun. This it was. Super was fun. It was chill. Some people. Some people. We go a little bit deeper, but like you went deep, like with yeah. the photos. Mm -hmm. You have stuff out there, but you stand by it. So yeah. uh, some people are like, ah. You were yeah, like, some of it was cringe, but like honestly, everybody has a starting place. You're not always gonna be like, you know, Beyonce when you first get started. So. Make sure to join us next week on Digital Footprint.